Now, we have a very <laughs> interesting personality in our studio now. Mm. Public health doctor turned singer. He is Ade Adebajo, and his stage name is Poski. <laughs> Postkey. He'll tell us what that means in a, in, in a few minutes. Yeah. He recently joined the music industry with a new project, Moods Extraction. He'll be telling us what that means as well. It hit the music scene on the 8th of April. Oh, it only just came out. Yeah, yeah. Ah, five-track album is a regenerated idea of classic high-life music mixed with funk hmm. and more to bring back the fading sounds of most recent decades. Exactly. Polsky, good morning. Good morning, madam. Why would a public health doctor give up that to go into music? Uh, well, I am not giving up my public health profession. I'm just doing a hobby in music. Oh, this uh, is a, so music is a hobby. It's a hobby, ah. yes, sure. I thought you were going to say the public health is a hobby. Uh, no, no, the public health is what is paying my salary for now. Oh, you're still doing that? I'm still doing that. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> For a chain, here's one who didn't give up engineering to go do music. No, 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 hold on. He has not answered the question. We've not asked him the question. Okay. Is there a likelihood that you'll eventually let go of public health and focus on your music? Well, it depends on when I think I'm buoyant enough. If I, I actually want to re uh, retire early. Okay, you want the public health to fund the music? Yes, for now. But when I have enough money, maybe I'll just leave everything and relax and play my music. Because it's actually a hobby for me. Hmm. How did you get into music? Well, we grew up um, singing and playing instruments uh, in my home because my father used to play some instruments too. Mm. So he used to teach all of us how to sing, how to play instruments. At times he would put a case, you know all those um, tape recorders with the record button on top, the red mm -hmm, one? Mm -hmm. He would just press it, call all of us, he would ask us to sing. And, and he would record. He would record. And play back. And, and play back and say, okay, you, you made a mistake there. You come back again, you take this part, you take that part. And we used to enjoy it. It was what fun. What was his background? He's an auditor. He was an auditor. He retired. <laughs> <laughs> so how come he knows what you did wrong and what you did wrong? Because he has always loved music and uh, he... He used to belong to some of these uh, church orchestra and all those things in his younger days. So it was easy for him. Music was part church. of him. An another NT. <laughs> <laughs> He's the choir master in church. Oh, wow. Or something Good. Like that. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and he studied geography. <laughs> uh, okay. um, yes, what sir. kind of music do you sing? Okay, I basically sing high life because I believe uh, it encompasses all other sorts of music. Mm. The instruments you find in high life are the instruments you see in some other music too. Like uh, the talking drums, the guitars, the drums, the harmonicas, the saxophone, trumpet, and go. You know, all of that you will find in high life music. And you still see that some other musicians are using it for the so called uh, hip hop that you're doing nowadays. Even the beat, if you listen deep, you see that the beat is actually high life beat. But the, mm -hmm. the high, high life is, in, is endangered, isn't it? Wouldn't you say? Well, I won't say endangered, just that the form where it's been listened to is reduced. Okay. Yeah, there are still a lot of artists playing high life, but you hardly hear them because they're not on the social media, they're not in the clubs. But yeah, you have some pockets of places where you go and you listen to high life. A lot of people so still a lot of people consider high life to be mature music for the mature mind. For the mind. Mature. Yes. Like the, the jazz. Mind. Yeah, mm. exactly. So mm. would you say high life is some kind of jazz? Uh, well, I won't compare high life with jazz anyway. Jazz for me is a blend of instruments. For, for jazz, you may not even need to hear sound. Yeah. But in high life, they want to hear you, how you blend the sound with the instruments, with the horns, with the drums and everything. Mm. But jazz, you can just listen to some instruments and you're good. Your, this is your first project, Moods Extraction. It's actually my first album, but I had a project last year with some friends. Okay, uh, what you call collabo? Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what was it like working on these, I'll, I'll call it two projects. What would, what would you, what was, what's it been like? Uh, well, I, I told my friends, last year that I never knew this was what uh, it entailed because it they are into music food. they are musicians okay I never knew what that was what it entailed because it took a lot out of me in terms of time in terms of funds 
in time of concentration because you have to do it right and I hope your patients were not suffering while you uh, no no okay. I <laughs> I'm able to balance that. <laughs> yes, I have to do that. So, I mean, it took a lot out of me, but I really liked it because uh, it's something I felt from inside. It's not something I wanted to make money out of. So it was just like fun. But before we knew it, we got interested and we were in the studios and we did it. So next time I was like, let me try another one. Let me see what I can do on my own. So I just thought uh, maybe I should sing for my father because I know everybody sings for mothers, 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 and he had this, he had that. Sweet mother. Uh -huh. <laughs> I said, let me sing for my father. Then I looked out for an icon. Who can represent a father? And I went to uh, Uncle Jimmy Sholanke, who was willing to be part of the project. And I must say a very big thank you to him because he actually changed me up to do the project. He, he did a lot to encourage me. extraction. He's actually moods extracted. Moods extracted. extracted, yes. Extracting the moods of different people. Ah, is that what you did through that music? Exactly. Moods Would you say you, was, um, you, you succeeded in extracting moods? Yes, because they had it in their minds, they could not express it, so we had to get it out of them and put them together. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, what are the plans? Are you going to work on some other project or...? Um, for you now, to take your time and recoup. Uh, for now, I'm, I think I'm going to take my time because uh, my executive director is scared and I don't want her to sack me thinking I'm going away for music, so I have to be careful. I have to focus on my work. <laughs> At the same time, I'm trying to concentrate on um, my marketing. I'm not really looking out for a worldwide uh, big thing, but for the selected few that really love high life that have interest in uh, mature music. I want to reach out to them on their own types of media, maybe the TV, some uh, social gatherings that have to do with the adults or mature, ma let me even say adults now, because you have a lot of 30 year olds that are mature in mind and they want to hear good music. So you don't really have to say it's for the adults. So by the time I can reach those people, then I think I will just relax and uh, enjoy the music. Mm. Yeah. Would you say that the prospects are the, look, the prospects are looking good. Yes, for now, I, I like the uh, reception. I like uh, the way people are accepting it. A lot of people seem to like it. And, uh, but are you not worried that it might go this, the way of those who have somewhat been forgotten, put, back, put on the back burner? Music is never forgotten. It depends on. I where didn't your say forgot. I, I, see, I ended with back burner. So okay. it's there, <laughs> but. No, it's. Um, you, see, you, you don't have uh, back benches when it comes to music. You, you, you have people that love music and you have people that make money from music. Okay? Maybe the people that love music that are time sitting at the back because they're not being heard on a daily basis and selling CDs in the market and things like that. But they love the music. Like you wouldn't believe, there are a lot of people today that play music in their homes and just invite like 10 people and they're fine. They don't even want to put anything out there in the market. Mm -hmm. And I know some of them that do that regularly. And so this is what you're hoping you can achieve? Yeah, I think that is just to bring back those memories, not really to make uh, too much money out there. Too much. <laughs> some will be good. <laughs> so Why can one get your CD to buy? Okay, I have some CDs going out now um, through some of my agents in the, by a Bariga side. But I have uh, the soft copies also on um, iTunes. I have them on Spotify. I have them on um, Amazon, Deezer, some of those online radios. You have them there. And he says he wants to keep.